Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in Caister in Norfolk today, about three miles north of Great Yarmouth. We're going to Caister Castle to have a look at the ruins of the castle and its car collection. But first, let's go back about 1,800 years. Imagine walking along this road. Here would have been the walls of a big Roman fort and about here would have been the gates to this Roman fort. Now there is some of it left. It was once very vast. There's not a lot of it left, but we can go and have a little look around. So here we are, Caister Roman Fort. It's English heritage, it is free to visit. So we're gonna do this before we do the castle. So as we step in here, you can see the low walls of the ruins in front of us. Now, if we come to here, the gates would have been, well, that is the foundation of one of the gates. The rest of it would have been in that person's garden. So if you have a quick look at this picture here, you can see we would have walked along there and we're just coming in these gates. Now, I appreciate it's quite small, so let's have a look at, that picture was quite small. Let's have a look at the picture up here. There'll be a better picture of those gates. So we're now walking through, would have been walking through an archway into the fort right now. And if we look on this plaque here, that is the gate we have just walked through, or that's the foundation, its foundation remains. Here are the buildings. There have been rows and rows of these going off in both directions. So where those bungalows over there are probably deep beneath those bungalows. There's more, more of this. So it's a very vast site. Let's just have a quick look along here. So I'm now walking beside the Roman walls. There's something up here I would like to show you. If you probably know um, that the Romans pretty much invented underfloor heating, which quite a lot of modern buildings have. They'd light a fire and have various channels running under the floor. If you have a look here, we can see some of those channels. See how you've got the channels running along there for the underfloor heating. So this is all there is really. What we can see here under all of those houses and bungalows, there's probably a lot more of this. What I'm going to do now though, I'm going to go back out there, continue along the road, and we're going to go and find Caister Castle. So to get to Caister Castle, it is actually advisable to go by car. I'm saying that and I'm not going by car. I came on the train to Great Yarmouth and then I got a bus to Caister and I'm now not walking along a disused railway as I usually do. I'm walking along a disused road. Just here, there's a disused road. I can see the castle over there. I looked on the map, there is a footpath across that field. So that's where I've got to go to find Caister Castle. So here we are, I've just arrived at Caister Castle. You can see the castle up there. There's people up there waving. So we're going to go up there and take a look. This though is a steam engine. It's one of those ones that doesn't power itself, but it would power machinery. So that's quite exciting to see. And look at that. There's a steam locomotive. Let's go and have a quick look at that. Um, that was a nice surprise. I thought I was coming here to see an old castle and some cars. Wasn't actually expecting to see a steam locomotive. As for railways, Caister did have a railway, but it closed in 1959, Caister Station. So that's why I had to come here by bus. But at least in Caister, or in Caister Castle, we can see a steam locomotive. So here it is. It was built by Manning Wardle of Leeds in 1921, and its number, its works number is 2010, carries number 42, called Rhonda, so possibly worked in the Rhonda Valleys of South Wales. There you are, that's the works plate. So nice to see a steam locomotive. It's an industrial. Yeah, maybe one day she'll be restored and she could run again and maybe they could find another one to replace her but I don't know maybe she'll just stay here this must be the house of where the current owners live now here we are it says warning deep water in the moat and here's the castle look at that it's very tall tower I understand it's the oldest brick built castle in the country and I'm really looking forward to seeing the views from the top of the tower so let's go through. Oh, it's this is the earliest brick-built castle in the country, and is such a scheduled Grade One listed for preservation. And it's essential to respect the property and everything. Which obviously is what we're going to do. So here we go. If I'd come here a few months ago, I expect the hydrangeas would have looked really nice. So here we are in the ruins of the castle. The moat goes right around there. There's more ruined walls over there, and that's the, the tower. So I'm really excited to go up there and see the views. No doubt we're going to be able to see across to the Norfolk Broads and everything. So let's go in this tower now. Always enjoy. 
going up high, up towers. It's always so much fun. So here we go. We're inside the tower. Well, look at that. There's no floors. Well, there is a, a floor right up there. I think we've got a lot of climbing up steps to do. Let's just see what's in this room here. Oh, okay. So again, more no floors. Quite exciting though. <laughs> Quite feels like I'm a bit like doing an urbex, exploring an abandoned building, but I am actually here because I'm you know here, allowed to be here. So this looks like the way up the stairs. There's someone, I'm just going to pause the camera a minute because there's a few people coming down the stairs. I'm going to let them come down and then we'll go up. So it sounds like everyone's come down. It's time for us to go up. Okay, oh, it's not an actual spiral staircase. It's a stone staircase, but it's not a spiral. We get to here, see into the castle. Oh, I see. So yeah, we, we now go this way up to this little room. It looks like the rest of the way up is a wooden spiral staircase. So you may be able to see out there into the where we came over. Oh that's a bit hard with the meshy window, that's where you stop birds coming. Got a lot of climbing to do now. But I do really like going up towers. In um, it's not quite the same but when I've gone to places like Eastern Europe they quite often have lookout towers in woodlands on the highest point and I always enjoy going up them but this is this is different, it's a historic tower which we can climb. You can see how in some places there's some newer bricks which I think they put in to help preserve the structure of the castle. We're quite high up now, have a look at that. Oh. So yeah, we've, we're not at the top yet, so we're gonna keep going. Can hear an aeroplane going over. I saw an airfield from the bus all the way up from Great Yarm. Oh, there's a, that's a bit welcome. Um, haven't counted the steps. It's got to be over 100. Come to a room here. They've put a concrete floor and beam on top. We're up quite high. Let's continue. We want to see the views though. This is going to be really exciting when we get to the top. Yeah, we're nearly there now. Here we go, daylight. So, here is the top of the castle. Wow, look at that. There's the whole castle down there. That path there, that's what I walked along to get here. That this huge road is just over there. I can see the sea in the distance. See the moat, see a water tower. There's some sort of reservoir thing there. There's the car park. The car collection is in that building. Well, it's just like an old school, but it's in there. You can also walk around the woodland. You can also walk around the woodlands. And then we'll, we'll go and look at the cars next. Looking that way, I can see to Great Yarmouth. The camera's probably not picking it out, but I can see the River Yare. I can see Great Yarmouth Power Station, Great Yarmouth Minster. It's a good model village in Great Yarmouth. I went to there a few years ago. If you want to see that, have a look at Lincoln's screen now. I can see, the camera's probably not picking it out, but I can see the main road that goes in and out of Great Yarmouth. And that runs along by the railway. So if a train went along there now, I'd see it in distance. Anyway, I'm gonna go down. We're gonna go and see the classic cars now. I'm now doing the woodland walk here at Case the Castle. The car collection is in a rather huge building over there. Now there are literally hundreds and hundreds of cars. And there isn't just cars, there was a tram in there. There were fire engines, motorbikes, bikes, pedal cars, all, just all sorts. And um, I had a walk around there. The way it's kind of set out, I didn't really feel that I wanted to walk around talking to a camera. Just some places, it just doesn't seem appropriate. So what I think I'll do, what I am going to do, is I'm going to insert a few images of just some of my favourite, because I cannot possibly tell you about everything um, my knowledge doesn't cover everything but there were a few cars it was nice to see a few cars you know I remember seeing on the road I was particularly pleased to see a Trabant in there one of my favorite cars so what I'm going to do now here's a few cars with a bit of writing and well, not just cars other things that I saw in there some of my favorite things and um, 
this is the wooden walk, which are, is another little addition you can do. I'm going to show you them and I'm going to go and get a cup of tea now. I hope you enjoyed that little collection of just some of the exhibits in that museum. There really was so much, I couldn't believe it. I was really happy to see that tram, that was a nice surprise. I knew there was going to be a steam loco here, and obviously I knew I was coming to see a castle and a car collection. I think that's a nice combination of two different things, with a steam loco in the middle, but it was just a really nice afternoon. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And for my walk back towards Caister with the castle there in the background, Goodbye.